do. You're not gonna guess how much stay-at-home moms are truly worth. We are worth I wanted to just let you guys know this information that um, came up. You know, I review this quite often because when you're homeschooling, when you're a stay-at-home mom, which doesn't necessarily mean you don't work, but when you're at home, for the most part, um, you tend to forget how valuable you really are. And I am a Christian, so I have a set of values that are grounded in Christ, but I also know that there are some people who also need um, validation in, in knowing that they're valuable in other ways as well. So in this video, I wanted to just let you in on a couple little tidbits that um, may be helpful for you when you're feeling down, like, Ugh, what am I really doing? Okay, so according to a, sal or a study in salary.com, this was for 2022, you're not gonna guess how much stay-at-home moms are truly worth. We are worth $184,000. This is according a year. This is according to salary.com. So what they're basically saying is they've surveyed a group of stay-at-home moms um, from various backgrounds and they've aligned it against, they compared it against um, the roles of people in the market. So you have everything from a dietitian to a chef, transportation, homeschooling teacher, a teacher, um, all kind of psychologists, all kind of things, right? We have a hybrid role. From there, they align these careers, what they make on an hourly basis, and they aligned it to what stay-at-home moms do. And from that, they were able to decide or determine that we were worth $184,000 upwards of that. So a couple things happened when I saw this. First, I got upset a little bit. Um, my husband had no idea why I was upset. But I got upset because um, later on in the study, it also showed that we only take about 3% of our time in the week for self time. <laughs> it's important for you to understand your role as a mom, for us all to understand our role as a mom. So the sole purpose of this video is to remind you that you are valuable, you are not invisible. The work that you do is very much needed and it is appreciated, whether it's shown in the way that you can receive it or not. So spiritually, there are a couple ways that you can look at your role as a mother as well. Focusing on family life really does involve a lot of creativity, a lot of innovation, and a lot of faith. Actually, God has a calling on us as women. He's calling us to be available. He's calling us to teach our children night and day. He's called us to teach our children, to teach our children scripture, to teach them biblical literacy, to understand um, the world from a biblical world. He's also calling us to nurture our children and our family. He's calling us to be the, the sole person to nurture them, to discipline, to help discipline your children. Without these things, it doesn't matter how much money your child will end up making in the world or what contribution they give. If they don't have this core set of values um, and understanding how the world works, then they're not going to be successful. So when you look at this video, this is just a little reminder on what you really mean to your family. So when you're having a hard day, when you feel like nobody sees you and when you feel like nobody cares about anything that you're doing, because I feel that way all the time. When it seems like you are looked at as a robot, I want you to remember, A, the world has identified that you should be making $184,000. They better know. But also, your father has given you specific instructions and a calling that only we can provide for our family. Um, and we should have joy in, in that calling and understanding that we have a place 
um, in our family that we're valuable and God sees us that way as well. I'm not asking you to do anything with this information. I just want to give you a message for you to remember that you are called, that you have value, and that um, you can do this thing. You're not alone, you're not invisible, and we appreciate you. Keep homeschooling and keep working and developing your family. Love y'all.